In central Ohio, they are dealing with a health situation you don't hear much about these days, a mumps outbreak. The virus, which causes fever, headaches, and swelling of the salivary glands, has now affected 103 people, 81 of them linked to Ohio State University in Columbus. It's not just the mumps, it's also the measles that has the attention of public health officials in several states. As of yesterday, the CDC reported 84 cases in 11 states. California tops the list with 34 cases, followed by New York State with 24. Let's go to Washington and Dr. Anthony Fauci, the executive director of the National Institute for Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Dr. Fauci, we've gotten used to the idea in this country over the last several generations that vaccinations have sort of reduced the threat of measles and mumps. What's going on here? Well, what we're seeing is a, is a failure to have as much vaccination as you really feel to completely control these types of outbreaks. And one of the problems is, is that uh, usually mothers who are concerned uh, understandably, but really without any real scientific basis about the adverse events associated with vaccines balanced against the serious consequences of the disease itself. And when people don't get their children vaccinated, that's when you see these types of outbreaks that we're seeing, which is really very unfortunate for the children who get infected, who could have been protected had they been vaccinated. How widespread could this get? Well, it's not going to get countrywide widespread because in the United States, although we'd like to see complete compliance with vaccination, we have about 90 percent of people get vaccinated for measles in the United States. That's lower than we would want it. But what you're going to see is pockets of little outbreaks like this that are unfortunate for the children and others who get it. In the UK, it's down to 80 percent. And if you go and look at what's happening in England, in the United Kingdom, that there are much greater, more frequent and larger outbreaks of measles because they're down to 80 percent. It's completely related to how you vaccinate and what percentage of the people get vaccinated. Dr. Anthony Fauci, thank you so much for your time. You're quite welcome.